Wreckage on an Omaha street. Police say the motorcycle was speeding. The driver, right or rather, ran a red light. Tonight, we're learning about the man who died. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm John Nicely. A young Omaha man dies in a motorcycle crash at 78th and Dodge. His passenger seriously injured. All of this just minutes after his birthday. According to those closest to him, the young man who died will continue leaving a mark on the world. Jessica Gill joins us live to explain. That's right. As you mentioned, John and Mallory, it was this intersection that 27 year old Jed Workman lost his life just after midnight, just minutes, as you said, after his 27th birthday today. Traffic is flowing, the sun is shining, but according to one of Jed's closest friends, this is the darkest day he's ever witnessed. His only comfort right now, he says, is knowing that Jed's legacy is one that will be heard for a long time to come. Dude, I, it, I, I don't, I don't want to accept it. News that his friend, brother, if you will, was killed in an accident at 78th and Dodge has Sam Brink and others in a state of despair. Honestly, on this brightest of days, on this greenest of days that we sit here and look here, but it, it, it hurts, man. A black cloud is enveloped on upon all of us because how else do we deal with this? Sam's words, like lyrics, when talking about his fellow band member, Jed Workman. He led the group called Ego Trip. Eliminating global oppression together, revolution is possible. Here's video that Jed posted on his Facebook fan page. We live in a world that's full of greed and hate, high poverty rates, segregation. And it's not just race, the invisible lines are all over the place. And it's that message that those closest to Jed say is the legacy he's leaving behind. He will live forever in us and our music. John was riding his motorcycle heading eastbound on Dodge, and that's when authorities say he ran a red light being struck by a northbound SUV. His passenger, his girlfriend, 23-year-old Rachel Macchietto. Again, police say speed was a factor. Now, last check, Rachel is in fair condition, recovering at Nebraska Medicine. They both, according to the police report, were wearing helmets. Jessica, how about the driver of the SUV? Any update on that? He did not sustain any life-threatening injuries, John, but he was treated at the scene for head and neck pain. All right, thank you. That's Jessica Gill reporting live tonight.